Hello, and welcome to another vlog. The 43rd Canadian federal election is a week away, so today I thought it would be a good idea to talk a little bit about voter accessibility. Specifically, I want to talk about some of the tools and services that Elections Canada offers to people with disabilities, and I'd also like to share some accessible voting tips. Now, I personally voted in the last two federal elections. I voted in 2011 when I was living in Dartmouth, and I voted in 2015 while I was living on the South Shore, and I plan to vote in this election as well. But speaking from experience, voting can be a little overwhelming, especially for people with disabilities. But I still think that it's important to vote, because not only is voting an effective way to create change, but I personally believe that it's your civic duty, at least that's my opinion. And the fact is, no matter who you vote for, whether you vote for the Liberal Party led by Justin Trudeau, the Conservative Party led by Andrew Scheer, the New Democratic Party led by Jagmeet Singh, the Green Party led by Elizabeth May, or the People's Party led by Maxime Bernier, there are a lot of important issues this election cycle that are going to affect people with disabilities and really all of Canada, namely health care, accessibility, the economy, and social services. And so that's another reason why it's important to vote. Now, I didn't include the Bloc Québécois on that list of parties because they only have 78 candidates. Now, as I mentioned, Elections Canada has a number of accessible voting tools and services that they offer to people with disabilities. And there was two main services that stood out to me. Uh, assistance marking your ballot, in which you can actually get an elections official or a trusted individual to help you mark your ballot as long as they take an oath, and sign language interpretation, in which sign language interpreters are available upon request to those who require them. They also have a number of different ways to prove your identity and sign your name if necessary. Uh, and they offer a lot of tools for accessibility as well. Uh, they have large print or braille ballots and candidate lists, magnifiers, large grip pencils, uh, voting screens that let in extra light, and even ASL videos with open captioning. Right, So there are a lot of tools to help you vote uh, if you have a disability. In addition, most polling stations are accessible, and there are community relations officers for accessibility in every riding. So, as you can see, Elections Canada really does take accessibility seriously, which is good to see because voting is your democratic right, and that applies to all people, including people with disabilities. So, now I'd like to share a few accessible voting tips uh, for people with disabilities. And there are three tips in particular that I'd like to share. So I'll go over each one of them briefly. The first tip is to do research. It's very important to educate yourself about all of the different tools and services that Elections Canada offers to voters with disabilities, because I did leave a lot out. Uh, but you also should find out where your polling station is and make sure that it's accessible. And of course, you should research the candidates, the parties, and all of the issues, because that's really going to determine who you vote for. Um, so just take the time to educate yourself before you go to the polling station to vote. Uh, the second tip is to have a plan. You should develop an accessible voting strategy before you go vote uh, to make sure that everything goes smoothly. Um, so you really need to plan ahead. You've got to figure out, you know, when are you going to vote? Are you going to vote on election day or in the advance polls? Where are you going to vote? Are you going to vote at the polling station or at Elections Canada's office? And how are you going to vote? Are you going to do it in person or are you going to do it by mail? You should also figure out what's going to happen if you need help. Who's going to help you and how are they going to help you? Basically, like we talked about last month uh, in the vlog about safety, it's important to know what to do in each of those scenarios to make sure that everything goes smoothly because odds are things aren't going to go the way you plan and you need to have contingencies for that. And then the final tip, which may seem quite obvious, is to ask for help. Uh, if necessary, don't be afraid to request assistance from an elections official or a trusted individual uh, because you are allowed to ask for help and those individuals are there to help you and a lot of times people feel like they can't, but the fact is you can, right? So those are the three main tips that I have for you know, voter accessibility. There's a lot more that you can do, but that's just kind of a brief overview of some of the things that, that I myself will be doing to make sure that 
I have no issues voting, and I thought I should share them with other people with disabilities because I just think they're very useful. Anyway, that's really all I wanted to talk about today. I am going to include a link in the description to Elections Canada's website where you can find out more about voter accessibility and all the tools and services that they provide to voters with disabilities. Um, right, so check the description for that. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And as always, if you want to see more videos like this one, then please support me on Patreon. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you next week.